Good morning, sunshine. Thank you for tuning in with me. I am Bianca Estelle. Welcome. So today we're going to review two products from Tatcha. I do have the Tatcha Clarifying Clay Mask that does retail for $70. And then I also have the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen that retails for $60. So we're going to be looking at both of these products today. Hopefully they give us some good results. If you follow my channel, then you know that I am on a hunt for a skin, well, a sunscreen that really does good for my skin. I've had a lot of hits and misses. Um, only found one so far that I really love. So if you want to check out that video, that is the Glow Recipe sunscreen that just recently came out. So you can check that out. Um, so we're going to dive into both of these products today. Like I said, I hope they give us both good results. I did purchase these in the last uh, Sephora sale, so I'm just getting around to trying them both out. Uh, but nonetheless, you guys, let's do this. Okay guys, we're gonna get a little rundown of this product. So a little information that I have on this. You can get this item either from Sephora or from um, Tatcha. It is $70, a little expensive. So just a few little um, points about this product. Um, just reading right from the Sephora website, you guys. It states it's a clarifying clay mask that subtly warms to open pores, absorb excess oil, gently exfoliates, and decongests skin without drying. It's good for normal combination and oily skin types. Um, if you have, it's supposed to be good for these cer certain concerns, pores, uneven texture, and oiliness. Uh, the formulation is a mask. Um, highlighted ingredients in here, it's Okanola Kocha Clay, uh, which is rich in minerals. It absorbs excess sebum and oil. Japanese Konjac, which gently exfoliates uh, dead skin and dirt. And Japanese Volcanic Ash um, creates a warming sensation, allowing pores to open and draw out visible impurities. Um, this product is vegan, cruelty-free and it comes in a recycling, uh, recyclable packaging. Um, it says what else you need to know. It says this creamy non-abrasive formula spreads easily across the skin without any dryness or tightness. As the mask is, as, as the mask is massaged in, the color shifts from a sage green to a soft red. The result is smoother skin with visibly tighter pores and a soft hydrated feel providing clarity from skin to soul. Okay, so I guess it has some promising little details and some things I didn't know about it. So we're going to open this bad boy. And I will say, I already know, I've, I've opened it once in my Sephora sale, what I got, and I already know this sucker is heavy. Like this is a big little jar and it is heavy, like baseball heavy. So this is what it looks like, classic Tatcha packaging. So we'll get some instructions for this. We're gonna try this on. I do have already clean skin. So we're gonna dive right into this. I'm gonna put my contacts in so I can see throughout all of this and we'll come right back. You can really tell that this morning for me, like look in my eyes, like, it's real morning for me, but you guys, so I'm just kind of like rehydrating my skin a little bit before we put this on, but it does say to leave this mask on for no more than three to five minutes, rinse thoroughly with cool water and avoid the eye area, which is fine with me. So I did go ahead and grab my Cigna. This is the clay mud mask uh, brush or two, I should say. It is the S zero one and it comes in like a um set keep mine right back here and that little what you call it brush bowl whatever so um just to kind of keep the clay mask container kind of like clean i'm just gonna use this so i dip my finger in there so let's jump into this so 
does have a protective seal on there. And that's what it looks like. This like sea foamy looking green. And it says it's supposed to turn like a reddish color when it's, I guess, done or as it dries. I, I'm not sure. We'll find out together. So we're just going to dive into this and see how she does. And we're going to kind of fast forward through this. I'm just kind of mixing it up because it looks kind of weird in there. I'm just kind of mixing it up just a little bit. Just because I don't. It looks like there was like some oils at the top. I don't know. Kind of weird. So we're going to dive right into this. So this is my full face with the mask on. As you can see, I put a little bit more of a thicker layer over here, but it's pretty well dispersed. Um, a little bit about my skin. Like I said, I have like oily combination skin. Um, can be a little bit more oily depending on the products that I'm using. So I do have uneven texture. I do have blemishes everywhere, hyperpigmentation, all that jazz, you guys. So the first thing I can say about this mask is she smells luxurious like she definitely has like a certain smell to it it smells very like earthy very like oceany it smells really good like it just smells really luxe um so far um it's not very drying like it said like it claimed it was not supposed to be drying um it does feel very hydrating um, my skin doesn't feel itchy or irritated. It does have a slight warming sensation, but not as much as I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was going to be like a really like warm sen sensation, kind of like, um, what is it? The pharmacy, the honey potion, like how that gets warm. Not like that at all. So very slight warming sensation. We are supposed to leave this in on our skin for three to five minutes. So after that time, you guys, um, I will come back and give you a little bit more detail as to how it feels. But so far, you guys, it feels pretty darn good. I just really wanted to get this like on my pore area and just kind of getting this. in some important areas that I think need some uh, nurturing. So guys, I'll be back in three to five minutes. Five minutes later. So I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see, but the mask is finally kind of turning like this reddish, muddy brown. Five minutes has passed by. I am gonna go wash this mask off and then we'll talk a little bit about it. I'm going to finish my skincare. Um, I guess I'll show you what it looks like after I take it off. Then I'll finish my um, skincare and then we will jump into the sunscreen. Mask is off. As you can see, I got water droplets all over me. I will say that it was easy to get off because it does not fully dry down. Um, so it made getting the product off my skin super easy. I did use cool water. Um, I will recommend using a darker cloth um, when removing this because it does stain the cloth because I had like a, a yellow towel that I generally got all that off and it did stain it a little bit, a little red. Um, 
other than that you guys i'm gonna finish my skin routine i do go in with my pharmacy this is the deep sweep two percent bha pore cleaning toner so i'm gonna go in with this i only have like a little bit at the bottom left in this jar and then i do go in with my proactive so i'm gonna go on my pore treatment and my moisturizer and then we're going to dive into the silk sunscreen be right back so i really wanted to make sure that my skin was dry all my products were dry on my skin so i just took a couple extra minutes and used like my little fan here just to kind of make sure that my skin is dry but it looks really good my skin looks hydrated we're looking pretty good you guys so we're going to dive into the silk sunscreen you guys like i said this product is 60 dollars. these products are quite expensive so you know tie in that question is it worth it we'll see um i'll give my final thoughts at the end you guys but i just want to go in here and give a little you know product information before we open this bad boy so what does it say it says about this product it says it's a liquid later radiant finish spf 50 mineral sunscreen with soothing silk extracts to protect skin from the sun hydrate and visibly even skin tone it's good for dry uh normal in combination skin um skin concerns for dryness dullness and uneven texture formulation is a liquid what do we have in here there's zinc oxide 10 percent in red algae extracts to help protect skin from uva and uvb re rays and cocoon skin from blue light and pollution it has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide that hydrates and visibly even skin tone it has silk extracts that support the skin barrier and prime for smooth makeup application this product is cruelty free and it says what else you need to know it says this sps supports the skin barrier and delivers a silky texture and finish for a light as air sun care that feels like sun skin goodness self-care Whew, that was a lot in japan silk workers were known to have beautiful hands thanks to the protective qualities of the silky liquid in which their hands were in were often immersed in okay so we're gonna open this up excuse me i'm just putting that fan down and see what she looks like beautiful purple packaging she's slim this is what she looks like so it says shake well before use apply uh, li uh, liberally to the face for 15 minutes before sun exposure and as you see it's quite sunny outside we're getting into those beautiful summer days it's funny because like here in Michigan the last couple days it's been like hot during the daytime and then like by two three o'clock it's been like cool like into the 60s so really weird things going on but here we go opening the packaging here Ooh. so this is what it looks like i'm just gonna put a little bit right there that's what it looks like a little here a little there I'm hoping that this um, doesn't leave any like a white cast or anything like to be honest with you it's quite liquidy like it's just rolling off of my finger it's not staying that's why I'm trying to do this as fast as I can just putting some little dots everywhere and then we will rub this in and see how she does. Ooh, is she gonna give me a white cast? I don't know, you guys. That. Oh. Oh. She seems to melt down pretty well. Get this nose of mine. It feels really silky. Um, yeah, it really does. I will have to say that is shocking to me. Um, I 
Yeah, that's really shocking to me. Okay, Tatcha. They're seeming to be a little promising here. This does not seem to be leaving a white cast. Maybe a slight one. Actually, really got to work it into the skin. Uh, a little bit of beading, but that just could be from some of my skincare products not being all the way dry. But as you can see, it's beading up. That's like my number one concern when I get sunscreens, like uh, sunscreens, like the beating up is what I don't like. So I tried to look up why, and they say the number one reason is because like your skincare isn't all the way dry, but this seems to be pretty dry and it is like beating up all underneath my neck. It does have some white cast. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's no white cast. No, like even on my skin, which is not very dark, I can still see where there's a little bit of white casting. So, I don't know. It could be the way that I apply my products. It could be the products that I'm using. You never know, you guys. So, but it's not bad. I like the way it feels. Like it's got my skin pretty like glowy, hydrated, but it also feels very matte at the same time. It's not bad. It's not bad. I have to give it a few more trial and error. Cause like I said, it's beating up and that's not cute. It's not cute. Um, so that's a little disappointing, but I do like the way it feels. I do actually like the way this feels um, compared to my Glow Recipe. I feel like the Glow Recipe has me almost looking a little oily, um, but I don't have that white cast and I don't have the beading, like very minimal beading nowhere com in comparison to what I'm getting right now. Um, so guys, I mean, that's what it is. I guess we'll give our final thoughts. So guys, it's time to give my final review of these two very expensive products. So I don't have a lot to say, but I will make some things very clear. You're not gonna see big results with skincare until like two to three months of using these items. Um, am I wowed by these items? Not in particular. Um, I will say that the mask was very nice. Um, it was not drying, very hydrating. It does not dry down. Um, very easy to get off when it's time to wash it off. You're supposed to use cool water. It was fine. Like I said, I just recommend you using a darker towel so it doesn't stain your towels if that's how you get your make or your mask off. I guess I could have used, I usually get these little eco sponges that are good for getting off masks, but for some reason I just grabbed a towel. So with that being said, this is $70. It's very expensive. Um, I think it is very luxe, so if you're really into, like, luxury items, I would say it, it's definitely up there. It's definitely a little, I mean, it's, it's a little different. It does have, like, the little color change. I don't know what that's all about. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, I hope it shows some, you know, results down the line if I continuously use it. Will it? Don't know at this point. It does have a high price point. I could compare this to the Glow Recipe, their watermelon clay mask. And I say it still has like, it has the same kind of properties as that where it doesn't dry down. It's very hydrating, but it's a cheaper price point. 
So you might want to try that if you can't afford this. I think that one might be $30 to $40 compared to this $70 jar. Just saying. So with the sunscreen as well, you're not going to see lots of results off the back. It's going to take some time um, to see some actual results. Am I wowed by this? Not really. I'm going to compare this also to Glow Recipe's new sunscreen that came out. I will say this does seem to keep my skin a little bit more matte, healthy glow. I don't, even though like, I think I feel like I look more greasy in my recording device than I do in my mirror right here. I feel like I just have this healthy, nice, like natural glow to my skin. Like it looks healthy. So I will say that's a little bit better. I feel like the Glow Recipe sunscreen keeps me like, a, gets a little oily towards like, like a little, I would say a few minutes after putting it on. I'm just going to be honest with you. This one, it does have a little blurring effect. That's not bad. Um, For the price point though, is it worth it? Is that, I think that that's a personal judgment. For me, I think it is because I... Have a, I've had a hard time finding sunscreens that I actually really like. So Glow Recipe and this one are probably going to be my new top two. This being number one, Glow Recipe being number two. I did have a little issue with the beading up all along, like especially around my neckline. Um, I might have to work with this product a little bit more, get more used to it. But I do think it is worth it in my opinion. It may not be for yours at this price point. So I do recommend you try the Glow Recipe um, Watermelon Sunscreen. That's just my opinion. Uh, what else? I don't know. I think I just really love this packaging too. It's very aesthetically pleasing to my purple vanity area back here. So, you know, those are my opinions, you guys. As far as like the... um the white cast it has gone away in some areas but i do see like in some areas where i didn't really i think my issue was i didn't fully massage it into my skin the way it should have been um so i do see like some patchy um areas of like where the product is kind of like dried at i'm still just wiping like this little beings everywhere <laughs> off my skin but other than that it's not a bad product it's not a bad product i would recommend it to you guys so if you do have the opportunity to try these products maybe you should wait to um for a next sephora sale i think the next one's coming in the fall usually it depends like sometimes they have one like pre-fall and then they have one in the fall like right before um what is that? Uh, Black Friday. So just look out for the next sale and take advantage of that 20% off because it's going to knock some money off of that. So guys, those are my opinions about these products. They may not be your opinions, but those are my opinions. Um, if you've got these products and you really like them, definitely let us know why, what you, you know, experience. Let us know the good and the bad. Uh, make sure to give me a thumbs up and like this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you. Have a beautiful morning and bye.